All right, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to create a logo and insert it right here. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is go to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com, pixlr.com. And this is assuming that you don't have Photoshop or something like that. All right, so once we go into Pixlr, we're gonna wanna open the Pixlr editor advanced because we're advanced users here. So just click on that and we're gonna create new image. So just click on create a new image. All right, the name for our, our image is gonna be logo. So we're making our logo. And this is really important. The width and the height are gonna be 300 by 100. And that's really important because that's the width and the height of this area right here. So make sure you have 300 by 100, 300 wide by 100 tall. All right, and the next thing that's really important, make sure you click transparent here. So click transparent, then click OK. Now it makes this space for us. And that's going to be, you know, where our logo is. So the first thing maybe we want to do is get some sort of like icon in here. Maybe we could draw it. We could choose these uh, brush tools and we can, you know, maybe draw it or choose this uh, pencil tool and draw it. But what I'm actually going to do is get it from another website. So I'm going to go to www.dryicons.com, D-R-Y-icons.com and just go there then I'm gonna click free icons free icons and I'm gonna scroll down and find something that maybe I like alright so maybe I like this <clears throat> maybe I like this icon right here so I'm gonna view slash download and I can view them all right here so I'm just gonna hover my mouse over one and when you hover over your mouse it'll expand to a bigger box then I'm just gonna uh, right click and save image as so I'm gonna save it to the desktop and this obviously works on a Mac or PC and uh, if you're on a Mac you can always press control and click to save image if you don't have a right click like PC users um, then now once it's downloaded to your desktop you go back into your photo editor and you go to file not this file up here uh, on top of your window but this file here go to file and open image all right and now we see that file and let's just open it so select the file and click open now we have this uh, this icon here and we're actually just gonna go to edit select all and then edit and copy and then we're gonna choose the logo file and we're gonna click edit and paste alright so it's in there but it's a little too big so what we wanna do uh, once it's in there is go to edit and free transform then it's gonna give us these little uh, box around it and we're gonna scale it down so what we're gonna do is when we see this little uh, icon when we hover over one of the corners we're actually gonna hold shift right now and click and scale it down and once we scale it uh, let go and just press enter alright so we <clears throat> we hold shift because then that will scale it proportionately I mean it won't get distorted so let's uh, do that again let's undo and undo again so it's big if we transform it if we go to edit free transform and we just click and hold and drag and scale it can get all wide or tall or distorted but if we hold 
shift while we do it, it's going to scale proportionately. So you can just click and hold and drag, but then click shift and it will scale properly. All right, so just scale it to a good size, let go and then press enter or return. And let's move it over here to the left. Now, you may be wondering why this background is checkered. Uh, and that's not going to show in your logo. That's just uh, to let you know that this background's transparent. So if this background is white right here, then if we go on our website, it's a little gray, and we'll see a white box around this. But we want it to take on the color of our background. So uh, that's why we did it transparent. All right, so make sure you have this checkered background here. And uh, then once we do that, click on the A tool, the type tool, um, and just start typing your logo name maybe. Simple is key, okay? So I'm going to say OK for that one. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. And you can have some space to the right and to the top. As we can see here, there is some space to the top and to the bottom. It doesn't fill it all completely. Um, and then after I do that, maybe I'll put another uh, text tool. And I'll say, learn how to make a website. And it's too big, so I'm going to actually take the size and I'm going to maybe make it much smaller. That seems pretty good. Maybe one more bigger. Put this 11. And uh, maybe 10 is okay. And uh, then I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it lighter. So I'm just going to click on, let me do that again. I'm just going to click on this color thing. And I'm going to slide it over so it's a little lighter. And we can see the changes here. So I'll slide it over, and that seems pretty good. Press OK. Then I'm going to take this Move tool, and I'm going to move it to the proper area. So I see that it can be a little bigger. So I'm going to make sure that how, learn how to make a website is selected. And I'm going to click it again. And I'm going to make it maybe not 18, maybe 11. 11 seems good. Press OK. Click the Move tool and just move it into place. All right, so obviously this isn't the best logo in the world. Hopefully you'll spend a lot more time than I did on it. Uh, but. Uh, Let's get it now, get this logo into here. So we're going to go to File and Save. And remember, it's this file up here and not the one way up here. So go to File and Save. And you see how this has a white background? That's because it's a JPEG. And that white background would look weird on this gray color background because there would be a box around it, a white box. And that would just look make it look funny. Uh, so we will actually want it to be transparent. So format right here, we want it to be PNG. So PNG allows for a transparent background. So when we see this checkered box, uh, then that's good. After we do that, let's click Save. Let's click OK. So name is logo, format, PNG. Good. OK and uh, save as logo.png. Now you have to make sure that that .png is there. Um, so once you do that, logo.png, let's save it to our desktop. And again, this works on a Mac, just like it works on a PC. And then click Save, OK. All right, so with our image saved to our computer now, let's get it uploaded to our website. So what we want to do is we want to go into our dashboard. and go to Appearance, then Theme Options. Appearance, 
theme options. And we see this little logo upload. So click on it and then uh, click here. Once we do that, we see the old logo, but we wanna choose file for the new one. And see, this is where I got the 300 by 100 uh, width and height for our logo. So that's 300 by 100. So just choose file right here. And we see the logo.png on our desktop, just like where we saved it. Then we click open, open. All right, then we have to click upload. Now it says crop and publish or skip cropping and publish image as is. We're gonna skip cropping because we made the logo perfectly 300 wide by 100 tall, so it's perfect. So we're gonna skip cropping, publish as is. Then we're gonna go down here and save all changes, save changes. All right. So let's visit our website and we can see our new logo and it takes on the background color of our website. So that is pretty cool. If we go over here and we go to background, we can actually uh, choose the background color. So we can select color. That's also in appearance and background. Go to select color and let's make this, you know, a blue and click save changes. So if we visit our site, we can see that the background is really blue, uh, too blue, doesn't really go with our logo, but you can see that our logo took on the color of the background. And that's why it's so important to have that uh, transparent background and to upload your image as a PNG. So let's go back and change this, go to our background and change it to a milder color, maybe a light blue. Save changes, visit website, and there we have it. So that is how you make a logo without Photoshop and that's how you upload it to your website. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe. For more lessons, please go to knuton.org. That's C-O-N-U-T-A-N-T.org.